Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms, and today we're going to do a little bit more thorough test on the tree puller. I've actually went out and bid a couple of jobs that are not cheap bids that will involve me using the tree puller. So the very least I could do is have a little bit of experience with it besides those couple little saplings next to the house. So all of this area right here about 50 yards up and then everything to this side. I want all this cleared, just haven't got to it. So I found there's a cluster of good sized trees and the further I go, they get a little bigger and a little bigger. And we're gonna start working our way up in there and just see how big of a tree we can pull down. So step one, I'm gonna use the brush cutter around here just so we can see what we're stepping on. So up at head high, we're about this big. Down at the ground level, that's, I don't know, eight, nine inch diameter. It looks pretty small, but the tree is 20 foot tall, so it's probably got a pretty good root system. First, we're just gonna clamp it, try to lift. If it won't lift, it's where you go to phase two of of working it back and forth. If that doesn't work, you start going under and breaking the roots. And I'm pretty sure eventually we'll get these out. And we've got four. This is the, this front one's pretty good size and there's two smaller ones. And then the back one's got a nice diameter to it. And we'll see how it does on these first. The other thing to factor in, the owner, when I picked this up, he basically said that any tree puller is not nearly as effective when it's hot and dry like this because the ground's like concrete. That as a property owner, he pulls trees only in the spring and fall when ground's wet. Well, I don't have that kind of patience. I want to see how it does right now.
Since none of those trees required me to actually dig and cut roots, I decided to just go ahead and test it on this bare ground and see how well it digs and cuts. Really pushed through that pretty easy. Seems like you could make a trench with it if you needed to. So, I feel like this is exactly the type of tree that you buy an attachment for, like this for. Do I think it can take out larger trees than this? Yes. I'm confident it can, and that depends on the species and wet ground. Like if you ran a garden hose on these roots for an hour before pulling them, it'd be a lot easier. So if it's been rainy, you can probably double the size of tree that you're pulling. But we snapped off some good size roots here. It's not even a max powered machine. If this was a 333, the limitation is never the tree puller. The limitation is only what your machine can lift. So, two thumbs up for this tree puller from Precision Manufacturing. I appreciate you taking time to watch the video. I'll put links on the screen to a couple more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.